Umjiksi Publishers, Me Too Series, Volume 1, Elephant Mask. The story I am about to tell is like that well of shells. It's a story that's gone without a trace. A story which undeniably exists in time, but has become as if it doesn't. A story that someone has already erased from memory, while still others can never forget even if they badly wanted to. A story which I decide to bring up here, but in fact belongs to so many of us. The story of the elephant mask began when I met you. You are the first person to have listened. I kept walking. There was a naive hope that I would run into you if I kept walking along the streets we had walked together. I walked down Hapjong Station through Exit 2 and went to the platform changing to Line 6. On the other side of the tracks was a crowd of people dressed in black. At first, they looked like people heading to a funeral. Then, they looked like dead people. None of them had any color in their face. I looked down, as if paying a silent tribute, so that the dead could keep in line and go where they needed to go. I didn't really have anywhere to go, but following the dead to the burial plot was not an option. I took flight and rushed out exit 7. I passed the alleyway, the kindergarten, the senior citizen community center, the cathedral. There was a flight of stairs leading to the Han Riverside Park. It was a steep slope. My head was reeling. By then, I was struggling to walk, barely limping. Dragging my right foot, I hobbled down the stairs towards the riverbank. The calm stream revealed itself in the half-light of dawn. For a moment, tears welled up in my eyes. Why? It seemed as if you were there, at the bottom of the river, cold, lonely, desolate. I reached to the waters, 